Hey there, welcome to this series on hand calculations. Today we are going to be discussing the concept of an equivalent square. So an equivalent square, or ESQ for short, is essentially a square field that has the same central axis depth dose characteristics as that of an irregular or blocked field. So if you have some rectangular field, you can calculate an equivalent square field size that would give you the same central axis depth dose characteristics. You can apply this concept to rectangular or asymmetric fields, and in that way you can define your equivalent square and then use that to go obtain your beam data from the beam data tables. And there are different methods to actually calculating the equivalent square, but there's one that is very common and has been used uh, for decades in the clinic, uh, and that's the one that we are going to go over today. So we can actually calculate the equivalent square by using the following equation. So the equivalent square is just going to be equal to the ratio of 4 times the area to the perimeter. And so in the top here, A is your area of your field and P is the perimeter of your field. And it's important to note that this is not based on any, you know, sound physical principles, but it's, like I had mentioned before, it's widely been used uh, in clinical practice for uh, numerous uh, different applications. Uh, so that's how we calculate an equivalent square. So let's look at a simple example problem. Let's say we have a field size that is 10 by 20 centimeters squared. Using our equation for the equivalent square, the equivalent square field size would just be 13.3. So uh, in, in theory, the 13.3 by 13.3 field would have the same central depth dose characteristics as the 10 by 20 field. So this is what we'll actually use when we go to look up our beam data briefly mention that there are other ways to calculate equivalent fields and one example is shown here with the equivalent circular field radius so rather than getting a square field you actually get a circular field that has the same central depth dose characteristics and you calculate it using this equation uh, 4 over root pi times the area divided by the perimeter and this will give you the radius of that equivalent square field you know, and there might be some instances where you want a circular field instead of a square field, in which case you would want to use this formalism instead of the equivalent square. But both formalisms are based on the area divided by perimeter uh, ratio, and so uh, both will take into account the area of your field and also the perimeter of your field. And that's it for equivalent fields, so thank you for watching.